leading with honor of the book starts with my shoot down and capture and uh, that was over enemy territory so as I was coming down in my parachute uh, there was a lot of shooting going on on the ground uh, I knew that I was probably going to be captured and sure enough they surrounded me immediately captured me and uh, it took two weeks to get to Hanoi and that was a pretty exciting experience because the local populace tried to kill me on three occasions there were riots and only the uh, orders that the militia was under to bring prisoners of war in alive, especially pilots, to bring them in alive because they wanted us for bargaining power in Hanoi. So they protected me and brought me safely to Hanoi. I was also uh, involved in about four bombing attacks and strafing attacks by our own airplanes who were uh, riding the roads, so to speak, or flying up and down the roads looking for trucks, hauling supplies into the south. So I managed to survive that, so it was a definitely an exciting period. Once I got there, I was put in a room six and a half by seven feet with three other prisoners who had come in. Uh, one was the guy I was flying with and then a Marine F-4 crew. So we stayed in this room for nine months, six and a half by seven foot room. We were there 23 hours and 50 minutes a day. Uh, got outside to grab a meal, pick up our bowl of soup and bread or rice. Uh, twice a day we were fed. Very thin soup, six months of pumpkin soup, three months of cabbage soup, three months of turnip green soup. I was glad to be a country boy because my cellmates from Long Island, New York, they didn't take to that fare quite as well. It was more difficult adjustment for them. But we were all uh, trained and committed to what we were doing, and I think that's important. You know, we were, uh, we knew what we were about. We were professionals, and so we had that kind of mentality that we are still American fighting men and we resist the enemy and we stick together and we follow our code of conduct and that's really uh, one of the main things that kept us together all those years along with the great leadership that we had.